What's up guys, Joshua Lefemi here, live in LA. We have a really cool video for you. Winston, the floor is yours. Hi, I'm Winston and Josh is paying me to learn After Effects. I am a film student in Deakin University here in Melbourne, Australia. I've only been using Adobe Premiere Pro for about a few months and I love it. I had an opportunity to meet Josh and he learned that I am new to the Adobe suite and I've never even opened Adobe After Effects. So Josh is challenging me to learn Adobe After Effects in 10 hours using the tutorials on this channel. So let's jump into day one. So I've just finished watching through four tutorial videos today. I learned how to use Adobe After Effects as a beginner. It mostly taught me how to start up and all the different tips and tricks that I can use. And I wrote down all the mistakes that I could be making just so I know that I don't make those mistakes. Uh, I also learned how to do a lock-on stabilized motion effect. If you're like me, you'll know that's from TikTok. And then I also learned about sound designing, which is a big problem for me always. I'm gonna start going to practice all these things and I'll catch you when I have something to show. Running off what Nick had told us, I used the, the bases for the coloring and the gradient. Uh, both of these have been masked in order to give that light little colorful hue them on opposite sides for a nice contrast. I did the circle animation that Nick showed us how to do using keyframes and some easy to use text. The camera was a little bit tricky. I'm gonna practice some more with camera, but ultimately I just got the camera nice and set out. It took me a while to figure it out how to make sure the camera would look nice and get some of it, you know, uh, out of focus and some of it in focus. That took me a little bit to understand, but I got it and then I animated the camera's position so that it would zoom right into the text. It is now day two. I'm going to be going through the Learn After Effects 2021, the 10 best After Effects effects, and then the Smooth Keyframes transition. I'm feeling pretty good. I was pretty nervous yesterday because I didn't know anything, but no, I picked up a lot and I'm keen to see what I'm gonna learn today. Let's jump into it. I've just finished the tutorials for day two. I learnt a lot about how to use Adobe After Effects 2021. And there seems to be a lot of focus on keyframing and masking. So I'm going to focus my practice a lot on those. I also watched 10 best effects for After Effects and smooth key transitions video. So hopefully I'm going to have something nice, crispy and smooth. For my practice, I just used a small idea to show I have the basics down. I animated, masked, and used text over footage. I'll show you the works now. Let's up. I grabbed a small sample of this clip from Detective Pikachu, which is a great film, by the way. Mr. Mime, this character here, he's a character with no voice, so he uses a lot of expressions. I thought it would be really cool to use text as a way to like subtitle his inner voice, which is why you get that. What I did for this was I composed it separately so that I had text I could just animate freely. I made sure to link and parent the box to the text. My animations, I made sure I used all those smoothens that everyone was talking about. So I used a quick ease in and I made it go nice and quick so it was into the frame fast and then it would settle nice and smooth. I wanted it to look like it came straight from his head so it was obvious we're looking at Mr. Mime's perspective. So firstly I had to make sure that it wouldn't be there in the next frame. And then secondly, when I animated it, I masked it and then even feathered out over here. I did this so that it would look like it was coming out from Mr. Mime's head so you could understand it was his inner voice. I felt like I could do a lot more if I practiced for a little bit more than an hour, which I might, but very excited for tomorrow because I've heard it's going to be quite wild. We'll see. So it is now day three and I'll be going through three tutorials. I'll be going through the Inception Effect tutorial, the Rainbow Echo trick, and the Motion Street trick. Feeling a little nervous because I heard today was going to be quite wild, but we'll see how we go. So I just finished all the tutorials for today's video and wow. That was a lot of information all at once. I'm now gonna go back and follow along with all these tutorials and make sure I kind of learn and understand. I hope I do them right. 
six months later. Hey everyone, so it is not actually the next hour, it is actually the next day. I was having a lot of computer issues where even so much as previewing, editing, and even like trying to open my start menu was actually lagging and broken. I had a quick talk to the team and it's a very common issue to encounter. Try and save your stuff if you can and just restart your computer and hope that helps. Nothing to fret about. So it's actually been the next day, I've had a lot of time to do the practice. For the Ben TK effect that I learnt on Herman's video, but I did the I did his second technique using this skyscraper from uh, which is just stock footage I got from Envato. I caved in and I used their discount to purchase a month of Envato, and I have to say I do not regret it in the slightest. This that was awesome. Click the link in the description and sign up. I know you won't regret it either. They have almost 2 million stock footage and motion graphic clips. But what excites me the most is the massive library of After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. I will definitely be using those for future projects. It's awesome. This is the practice I did. I had the exact same footage and I just changed the scaling. I actually ended up making the top bit here, this bit. I ended up doing negative on the x-axis so that the two towers you can see here weren't gonna overlap. And then you got the his third technique, which was my favorite one to do, cropping out part of the original footage and then distorting it so that it moves in a 90 degree angle. And it was all pretty good. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. When I was watching the videos, I was kind of freaking out because it just looked super complicated, but it's actually quite simple. And then we had the rainbow effect. This is the effects that actually killed my computer. Skadoosh. I didn't crop her entire body just because I thought it actually worked better to just crop from here. Also, the masking's not too great because I got a bit lazy. Could definitely put more detail on the masking, but I didn't. And in Herman's video, he moved the mask slightly to the right to take up more of the camera. I didn't do that since in the stock footage I got, my figure here is in the dead center and she takes up a majority of the frame. So what I did here was duplicated a bunch of the masks, changed the colors, slightly increased, eased in some of the frames, all for four seconds. That's it. It's mostly just work than it is huge amounts of effort, putting the time in rather than putting in all this brain power. It was a lot simpler than I thought it was, uh, but it was a bit of pretty cool, pretty cool trick. So tomorrow is gonna be day four. I am a little bit terrified to find out what's in stock tomorrow, but I'm gonna get so much practice in, you have no idea. Hey everyone, it is now the fourth and final day of this 10 hour internship. I'm only going to be going through two videos, the pixelated text effect and the glitch effect. They sound great and I'm kind of keen to see what I'm gonna be learning, but I'm a little bit scared to try it out. We'll find out. So I've just finished the two videos for today. I saw the glitch uh, slice effect, which looks super complicated, but I reckon I could do it. And I also saw the pixelated text effect. And in that video, Nick talked about how to do the pixelated text effect, but it was like, it was super short and easy. So he talked also about animating shapes and text, which I thought was more useful to me. And I think I'm actually gonna practice today and focus on animating uh, text. I think that's gonna help me the most. So I've just finished my practice for day four. I only focused on the text from Nick's pixelated text video. I didn't pixelate the text, but I mostly just followed, followed along and just sort of had a little gander to see, make sure I understood how it all went. And I, I really enjoyed doing this. This was actually kind, kind of fun, just doing little text graphics like this. I made this pretty simply. I mostly just followed Nick's video for the most part. I definitely feel like I could have added more or there was a lot more to be done because look at all this black space that's just kind of around the frame. So if I spent maybe a bit more time on this, I might have actually had something quite big to show. Yeah, I feel pretty confident in my ability to work After Effects and do a really good job. I am feeling pretty confident now about using Adobe After Effects. I'm by no means an expert, but I am feeling a whole lot better and a lot more comfortable in learning how to use Adobe After Effects. Thank you so much, David, Nick, Quinn, and Herman and Josh 
for the amazing tutorial videos that you showed me. This was the most fun I have had making money in my life. And it's a wrap. Winston, I'm so proud of everything you've been able to accomplish in just a couple days. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Winston, I cannot wait to see where you're at like a year from now in the world of After Effects. It's just gonna keep getting easier and easier. Guys, please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember, keep it chill.